sweet. Well, as you can see, it's snowing. I haven't been in the garage in a month at least. Uh, I was looking for a new job. I quit the last one I was at. They're going a little crazy. I was out here today. I put the rear end back in, the four links back in. I pulled it away from the wall. But I got it back on the ground. I've been messing with. Uh, I'm going to make a plate for up there. Now, the place I used to work at, you had to have your own tools. I've been putting my tools back. Um, the new toolbox is in place. I um, had this radio in here, this piece of crap. See that thing? It uh, would play when it felt like it. Wouldn't play CDs at all. Cassettes, I have a couple, but didn't play them either. It's all extras. Uh, I was over Dad's and going through his stuff. We hooked up his computer to his um, amplifier and he gave me his old stereo. We got cassette, we got 5 CD, we got a receiver, and we got an amp. Now, the uh, amp I had in here, that little, I'm not even call it an amp, that little piece of crap radio I had was driving those cheap speakers. These are all uh, Fishers. And it's an older system. He's had it in a long time. It must have sat around for a good 10 years. But it plays cut CD, so what do you do? We have tunes and they crank. Wicked loud. I can't put it on three. It's too loud. Anyway, the hot rod. My new job is a good thing. I now run a water jet. Uh, I can cut pieces of steel. I don't have one here, of course. I turn the radio down. I just shut it off. Um, I run a water jet and I cut whatever I want out of steel, plastic, aluminum, wood, you name it. Um, I've been inside drawing things. I've also been sick. <sighs> Just getting over that. But yeah, it's been a month. And this is my 100th video. I don't believe I didn't make the 100th video. What a loser. Nothing's really changed. Brakes are done. But I mean, it was a good year. We got the transmission in. We got front brakes done. We got brake lines started. We have an emergency brake. We have another rear end all welded in, ready to go. Um, that's an extra carburetor I have. I'm going to get to Don. I don't need it. Uh, we cleaned up, rearranged the garage. We got more tools. We got another cabinet. Another toolbox, rather. We got a nice stereo now. Um, we got the heaters out, even though I don't have any fuel for them. But we're getting back to it. Slowly but surely, I've been picking away at, uh, like I said, drawing things out to cut and steel. One of which includes a plate to go across the front that will either say Chevrolet. One that goes here, that'll say Evelyn. Um, little oohs and ahs. The plates that go over here for the body mount. I got those all drawn up. These are my body mounts. Now, these are hockey pucks. Hockey pucks are exactly an inch thick. And uh, Dad machined these down for me a while ago. They're 99 cents a piece. How can you beat that? They go between the frame right here. As you can see, but I need a washer. 
that's two and a quarter inches round and I need one for the top, one for the bottom, I need plates to go on these and these were cut as a slot. See the slot? I have to make something to go over that. I initially made it so it would slide back and forth and I was going to have, you know, machine steel bushings. Eh, to hell with that. We're going to make some nice steel plates to cover those holes to be uh, precision cut. And that should be my next project with the thing. We'll get the floor pan on, I'll get the firewall on, we'll start tacking it in place. I'll get the rear tub from Hank. Uh, get the doors, line them up, start hanging doors, push the frame forward, get it all up on stands, and start working on the body. Um, like I said, I was going to work on the body this winter. It's just it's been a month and I haven't been able to do anything. Cup cold air. Yeah. They're all steamed over. That's pretty deep. Look at that. My rear part of my body is home. I uh, went to the junkyard the other day. We got a $200 Optima battery for free. And how about that one? A bomber steering wheel. Um, I kind of replicated the one from a uh, B25 Mitchell. This is cut in 3 16 plate. Now it's 17 inches round when it's flat, but it's got to be bent in uh, four spots. Uh, overall, it's going to be about 15 inches round. It's going to have nice wooden handles, and I have a horn button there. We'll make some kind of a cover. I thought the, uh, the old sight was good from like an M1 Garand.